students from Seneca Valley, Sherwood, W.T. Woodson meet today on It's Academic. Hello, everybody. I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, the world's longest running TV quiz show produced by Altman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness and passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. So glad you're with us today as we jump into this fast start round where questions are worth 10 points up or down. First team to buzz in gets to answer. And of course, the students don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's do this. Sunny side up. I hope you enjoy sunshine because all these questions are related in some way to the sun. The earth is this many million miles from the sun. The answer is 93 million. This many planets orbit our sun. Yeah, Woodson, it is right. This is the point in a planet's orbit farthest from the sun. Woodson. Apelion. Correct. He wrote, the sun also rises. The answer is Ernest Hemingway. The suns are the NBA team from this city. Sherwood. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix it is. This Asian country is called the land of Woodson. Japan. Yeah. This layer of the Earth's stratosphere absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Yes, Sherwood. I'm referring to ozone layer. Answer? Final answer, ozone layer. Ozone layer is right. Your body synthesizes this vitamin directly from Woodson. Um, vitamin D. Vitamin, which one? D. D Doesn't is dog. right. A Khaled Husseini title names this number of splendid suns. A yes. thousand suns. That's right. This two-word term refers to the distance between the sun and the Earth. Astronomical unit. You are right, and that is the end of our very fast start. Let's recap the scores. Seneca Valley, 100. Sherwood, 120. Woodson, 160. Now it's time to meet the teams before we do the mix and match round, and we begin with Seneca Valley High School for Montgomery County. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, Nicholas, tell us about yourself. Um, name's Nicholas. I'm a um, 15-year-old sophomore, and I'm happy to be here. Well, we're very happy to have you here. Thank Thanks. You. Hello, uh, Nithin. I'm Nithin. I'm a junior at Seneca Valley, and um, I'm also on the cross-country team. Very nice. Hiya, Jude. Um, well, my name's Jude. I'm a senior at Seneca Valley High School, and I'm like a big movie buff. Really? What's your mm -hmm. favorite movie? Fight Club. Oh, Fight Club. Very mm -hmm. good. All right, guys, here we go. Hamster damages mice. Hidden in this sentence is the name of what largest city in the Netherlands? Oh, um, Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam is it. A chasm, a cauldron, a carbuncle. If you fell into a steep, narrow gorge, you would have dropped into which of these? Okay. Chasm. Chasm? Yeah, chasm. No state store. You can rearrange these letters to name what archaeological find that gave historians the key to translating Egyptian hieroglyphics. Rosetta. Rosetta. Rosetta Stone. Yeah. GoldenTouch.gov. This might have been a good website for what legendary king of Phrygia whose touch turned everything to gold? Midas. Yeah. Midas. It's that Midas touch. Eat warm, drink cold. This is a proverb from what largest Italian island whose capital is Palermo? Sicily. Sicily is right. Well done, Seneca Valley, 180 points. And now to Sherwood High School. Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Good. All right. You're in Sandy Spring, Maryland, right? Yes. All right. Here we go. I've got some questions for you after you tell us about yourself, Joseph. Sure. Uh, my name's Joseph. I'm a senior at Sherwood High School. 
I'm uh, 17 and I'm my school's SGA president. What, tell me about that. I'm uh, my school's SGA president. Oh, very good. Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Catherine. Hi, I'm a 15-year-old sophomore and I play in my pet band. Tell me about what pet band? Pet band. Oh, yeah. pet band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah, Older hearing. <laughs> good yeah. to have you, Catherine. Hi, Noah. Hi, I'm a 17-year-old senior from Sherwood, and I play two sports. What sports? Soccer and tennis. All right, guys. Are you ready for a question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hid a hot potato. Hidden in this phrase is not a potato, but the name of what western state famous for its potato crops? Idaho. 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 Yep, that's it. Disorganized, nimble, cautious. Which of these adjectives is the best synonym for agile? Nimble, 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 right? I know it's nimble. Yes. Mirage shops. This phrase might suggest boutiques, but the letters can be rearranged to name what sort of device used to monitor earthquakes? Answer. In three, two, one. You'll know it when I say it. Seismograph. Cottonman.com. Had there been an 18th century internet, this could have been the address of what man who invented the cotton gin? Eli Whitney. Yeah. Eli Whitney Herndon. Yeah. No oases relieve the unbroken stretches of sand. A geographer wrote this about what largest Asian desert located in China and Mongolia? Ah, uh, Gobi Desert. Gobi Desert. Gobi Desert is right. Nicely done, Sherwood. You've got a, a score of 200 points. And now over to Woodson High School from Fairfax, Virginia. Hello, Miranda. Uh, hi, I'm Miranda. I do track and I also play guitar. What kind of stuff do you play on your guitar? I like to play rock. Rock. All right. Nice. Hello, Stephen. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a senior at Woodson High School, and um, when I'm not doing Quiz Bowl, I'm running for the cross country and track teams. Wonderful. And Stephen again. Hey. Hi, Stephen. Hi. <laughs> Um, I'm Steven, I'm a junior at Woodson, and um, I play double bass in the orchestra. I forgot, tell me what you're playing, because I remember from last year. Double bass? No, um, no, I mean, are you doing jazz? Oh, or? yeah, we mostly do like orchestral music, so All right. uh, generally that type of thing. So yeah. here we go, first question. Litter box for dogs. Hidden in this phrase is the name of what English university attended by Rhodes Scholars from America? Oxford. Oxford it is. Ossified, arborized, chromatized. Which of these words describes something that has been turned into bone? Yeah. Ossified. Ossified is right. All mange. Please rearrange the letters in this mangy anagram to name what Portuguese explorer whose expedition was the first to circumnavigate the Earth. Uh, Magellan. Yes. Badguy.com. If fictional characters had websites, this would be an appropriate site for what Robert Louis Stevenson character, the evil alter ego of Dr. Jekyll. Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde? Yeah. Where summer spends winter. This slogan was used to attract tourists to what southwestern U.S. state whose attractions include the painted desert and the petrified forest? Arizona. Arizona is right. Nicely done, Woodson. 260 points. That does it for the mix and match round. We mix and match round. We have the picture perfect next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea. It's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Time for an audience question. With 3,600 letters, what is the world's longest word? Hint, it describes bovine NADP-specific glutamate dehydrogenase. For 20 points, what is it? Oh, whatever you said, it was wrong, and I can't give you the answer because I can't pronounce it, let alone have enough time. <laughs> now back to the teams. Well, hello again. It's time for the picture perfect round. Questions here, as you know, guys, 20 points up or down. Once again, it's a competitive round. 
So the first team to buzz in gets to answer, and I have your very first question. Coffee beans such as these are a major export of what largest South American country, Woodson? Brazil. Brazil is correct. Though dolphins live in the water, they are members of what class of Woodson? M mammals. Mammals it is. This African tribal figure is crafted from wood and covered in what metal? An alloy of copper and, yes, Seneca Valley. Uh, bronze. No, brass is what we're looking for. I'm sorry. That's okay. What is the value of the real part of this expression? Anybody? Going once? Yes, Nine. Woodson. Nine is right. Got it. The cedar tree pictured on this flag is a symbol of what Middle Eastern nation, Woodson? Lebanon. Lebanon it is. This is the forest primeval. Longfellow's poem, Evangeline, begins with these words describing a forest in what Canadian province whose capital is Halifax? Woodson. No Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Beautiful Nova Scotia. This is what Sherpa who, with Edmund Hillary, yes, Woodson. Tenzing Norgay. You are right again. This is the Urubamba River in what South American country where Lima is capital? Yes, Woodson. Peru. Peru is correct, and that does it for the picture perfect round. Let's take a look at the scores. Seneca Valley, 180 points. Sherwood, 200 points. Woodson, 400 points. And now we get to meet the people who help prepare these students for its academic, and we begin with Seneca Valley. Nathan, who's with you? Uh, we have uh, Mr. Weisberg with us, who's our coach. He's also one of our pathway teachers for law, and um, he's a, a coach that uh, led us through with its academic for the last um, few years that I was here with us. Wonderful. And you have a principal here, too? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ms. Heckert is also with us, and we would like to thank her for coming out. And we would also like to thank our families for supporting us through all of this. All right. Beautiful. Thanks for that. Hello, Sherwood. Catherine, tell us who's with you. So we have Mr. King and Mr. Allen who are with us today, and they are our two AP government teachers. Um, and they coach us every Wednesday after school, and we appreciate them very much. All right, thank you. And Woodson, Stephen, tell us about your, your team. Um, today we have with us our AP government and our scholastic role uh, coach, uh, Mr. Wright. And we also have um, one of our Stephen's mom here, who was standing in for Mr. Wright during the filming. All right, well, shall we name her? Yeah, uh, yeah Jennifer. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jennifer Ritterhouse. Uh, my mom. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, now we can jump into this packet round, and you know all about the packet round, right? We've got questions that are worth 20 points, nothing off for a wrong answer, and if you get every question right, what do you get? Point bonus. Point bonus. Yeah, that's it. So... Let's do this. Seneca Valley, you'll answer questions first. Sherwood, you get to choose which packet they'll answer questions from. One, two, or three. We think packet number three. Packet number three. Are you ready, Seneca Valley? Here's your first question. Tourists spouting off about the wonders of Yellowstone National Park would no doubt mention what famous geyser named for its punctual eruptions. Answer is... Old Faithful, yeah. The Green Mountain Boys took their name from Vermont's Green Mountains, which are part of what long mountain chain that extends from Quebec to Alabama? Appalachian. Yeah, that's it. The Smithsonian holds the stuffed remains of Cher Ami, a pigeon that delivered a message and saved the lives of 194 soldiers during what early 20th century war? World War I. That's it. Here's your science question. Polymerization, electrolysis, oxidation. Which of these processes is commonly used for the manufacture of synthetic rubber? Polymerization. The first one? Yeah, you've got it. In 1988, Kenneth Deerdorf became the last person to be granted title to land under what land grant act that was signed into law into 1862? Homestead. Homestead Act. Yeah, you got it. The dictator whose picture was everywhere in George Orwell's novel 1984 was referred to by what two-word phrase that sounds as if he were a member of the family? Yeah. Answer? Big no. brother. Here's your math question. <laughs> Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. I think it's 
No, 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 it's two. Yes. Answer? Two. Yes. Once a leading Islamic cultural and intellectual center, the city of Timbuktu is located in what African country where Bamako is capital? <laughs> Mali. Mali is right. Nice job. Seneca Valley, 300 points. All right, Sherwood, your chance to play. Is it going to be packet number one or packet number two, Woodson? Um, packet number one. Packet number one. The mythical Theseus should be great at puzzles since he was able to master what maze that confined the Minotaur. The labyrinth? That's it. In 1811, 500 slaves under the leadership of Charles Delon revolted and marched on what largest Louisiana city? New Orleans. Mm. New Orleans? Yes, you're right. In ancient Athens, the smart money was on a coin that pictured what wise bird, the symbol of Athena, goddess of wisdom. The owl. The owl, yeah. Here's your science question. Blossoms, leaves, roots. The process of transpiration by which green plants lose excess water occurs through holes called stomata located on which part of the plant? The final answer, leaves. Yep, that's it. Called the Wizard of Ooze by his critics, William Randolph Hearst was accused of publishing sensationalized news reports that led to what 1898 war? Spanish-American war. Yeah. Spanish-American war. You are right. What same celestial phenomenon that titles a Stephanie Meyer book saves the hero in Mark Twain's A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court? Answer? Um, solar eclipse? That is right. Here's your math question. Solve for X. Is that three? X is three. Yeah. Final answer, three? Yeah. The ruins of ancient Carthage still draw visitors to what modern country located between Algeria and Libya? Tunisia. Yeah. Tunisia? Tunisia is right. Well done, Sherwood. You've got a score of 385 points, getting that 25-point bonus. Awesome. And now we turn it over to Woodson. Hello, Woodson. Here's your first question. The real site of the Wright brothers' first airplane flight was Kill Devil Hills and not what nearby town commonly associated with the flight. Kitty Hawk. That's it. Math classes aren't the only place to study circles. A geography class would include a lesson on what cold circle at 66 and a half degrees north latitude near the North Pole. Arctic Circle. That's it. Mozart's Piano Sonata in A includes a rondo movement named for persons of what nationality who ruled the Ottoman Empire? Um, Turkish? Yeah. Here's your science question. Femur, clavicle, humerus. The skeletal structure in birds, known as the wishbone, corresponds most closely to which of these bones in a human? Clavicle. Answer? Clavicle? Yeah, you got it. In 1770, John Adams successfully defended British soldiers charged with murdering five men in what Boston incident leading up to the American Revolution? The Boston Massacre. Boston Massacre is right. Millions of Americans were terrified in 1938 by a radio production of what H.G. Wells' story about an invasion by Martians? Um, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds is correct. Here's your math question. Solve for X. 20. X is equal to 20. It is. Once a major cultural center of India, the city of Dhaka is now the capital of what neighboring country formerly called East Pakistan? Bangladesh. Bangladesh is right. We've got another 25 point bonus. Well done, Woodson. 585 points. That does it for the packet round, but don't go anywhere because a lot of excitement is coming up next with the grab bag. See you in a minute. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know the $2 bill originally carried the picture of Alexander Hamilton? Today, the $2 bill features the portrait of Thomas Jefferson. I'm David Rubenstein, reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. So, you know, I've 
you've been doing this program for a long time. I mean, it's been 12 years. And I've got to say, what we're about to embark on is my favorite part of the show every single time. We are about to do the... Grab Yes. So in this round, questions are worth 20 points up or down. Here we go. First question. The name Iowa contains one consonant and three vowels, a distinction shared with what Hawaiian island where Honolulu is? Woodson. Oahu. Oahu it is. Composer Richard Wagner was a super friend of what German philosopher who developed the theory of the Superman? Sherwood. Answer. Nietzsche. That's it. Brick by Brick is the title of a 2016 best-selling book about what classic construction toy that has interlocking plastic bricks? Woodson. Uh, Lego? Yeah, love them. On your monitors. This painting shows the mythical Eurydice with what husband who tried rescuing her from the underworld? Yes, Woodson. Orpheus? That is right. Stage directors sometimes use a blinking light to represent what tiny fairy who accompanies Peter Pan? Sherwood. Tinkerbell. Yeah. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is right. What is the diagonal of a square whose area is 50 square units? Yes, Sherwood. So it's 10 times 200. Answer. Square Three, two, one. The square is 200. It's 10 units. A 1951 movie titled The Desert Fox focused on what World War II German general who fought in North Africa? The answer is Rommel. Check your monitors. And so to bed. These words recur often in the diary of what 17th century Englishman who was a naval expert as well as a diarist? The answer is Samuel Pepys. The Democratic Republic of Congo has about 60% of the world's supply of what metallic element? Yes, cobalt. Sherwood. Cobalt. Cobalt is right. Good job. Upton Sinclair criticized the meatpacking industry when he wrote Sherwood. Answer? The jungle. And that's it. The apterix is the scientific name for what bird that is the symbol of New Zealand? Yes, Woodson. Kiwi. You're right. On your monitors. This plaid pattern represents a Scottish clan sharing the name of what Shakespeare title character who murders King Duncan to gain the throne? No Shakespeare. Ah, yes, Woodson. Macbeth. Yeah. Both Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis participated in what brief 1832 Native American war whose two names suggest a dark bird of prey? Answer, in three, two, one, the Black Hawk War and choice. That's the end of it. That's it for the grab bag round. We're going to collate this data and uh, see what the students come up with in terms of scores, so stay with us. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Many students are getting involved in their communities in important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, my name is Caden Zhang. I'm a junior at Basis Independent McLean, and I help my community by volunteering to coach beginner classes at my fencing club. Uh, I love doing it uh, every week after school uh, because it brings me back to when I was learning fencing. And I love watching the learning process that I went through myself. And I just love sharing my passion for this incredible sport with beginners and younger kids. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Now, a question for you, our viewing audience. What head of state drove an army truck during World War II? It was Queen Elizabeth. After she turned 18, she joined the army and trained as a mechanic and truck driver. Of course, back then, she was only a princess. She became queen in 1952, left the driving to someone else. Back to the game. All right, the scores are now official. We begin with Seneca Valley High School from Germantown, Maryland. Nicholas Nith in June, 300 points. From Sherwood High School in Sandy Spring, Maryland, Joseph Catherine Noah, 445 points. Great job, guys. And coming back for the semifinal, Woodson High School from Fairfax, Virginia, Miranda, Stephen, and Stephen, 685 points. <laughs> Fabulous. That's it for the game, but stick around. We'll be back in a minute.
Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness. And passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. That's it for the competition. We are so glad that you were with us today. See you next time. I'm Hillary Howard. Bye.